affordable. Over the last year, the price of food in the UK has gone up by 19%. And if we look back to the start of 2021, food prices in the UK have increased 27% since then. And in the Eurozone, they've increased by 25% over the same period. I asked Michael Saunders what was behind the rising price of food in the UK. It's mostly, in fact, I think largely, overwhelmingly, the result of strong increases in the costs of producing food. So that's agricultural commodities, for example, grains and cereals, and also energy. A lot of food production is very energy intensive, and so people will have seen their household gas and electricity bills go up. The same thing applies to food producers. Maybe retailers are taking advantage of the fact that people are expecting to see higher prices and they're saying this is our moment to just nudge them up a bit further and take extra profits. So I'm sure you could find maybe some individual specific examples of that. I don't think that reflects the general picture, though. You can explain the rise in food prices pretty much totally by the rise in the input prices and output prices for food manufacturers and the rise in imported foods coming into the UK. There doesn't seem to be any extra effect from food retailers' margins in the UK. It's just a cost story. And is there any indication that that strong food price inflation that you mentioned might slow down? Yeah, so what you've seen just in the last few months is that import price inflation for food has started to slow. Um, Output price inflation, in other words, the inflation rate for manufactured foods made in the UK, has also started to slow a bit. So we're still in the period in which costs have slowed a bit, but we haven't yet seen the effect on consumer food prices. Consumer food prices usually respond to those cost pressures with a lag. But I would expect that we will see it in the next quarter or two, perhaps even in the next month or two. And, well, it'd be nice to see lower inflation. Even nicer would be to see food prices fall. We have seen some energy prices fall. Any chance that food prices themselves might reverse some of this inflation? No sign of that yet so far. Cost growth has slowed, but costs are still going up. So that would be consistent with consumer food price inflation slowing, but it would still be positive. And look, if consumer food prices go from rising 19% per year, as they are at the moment, to let us say 5% per year, consumers will probably still feel worse off. Food prices will still be going up and they will be considerably higher, the level of food prices, than they were a couple of years ago. Let's turn for a minute 